So in this video, I want to show you how to use column vectors as part of this uh, vectors subject, right? Now you would have seen vectors already, these column vectors in a topic called translations. This is part of transformation. You know, when you do the rotation or reflection or whatever, one of those things, one of those ways of moving an object is a translation. This, uh, this uh, vector is saying move three to the right, two up. This one's saying move one to the left, five up. So hopefully you've already had an introduction to vectors and I don't want to go into that too much. This is this leading on to the more advanced stuff, right? So I'm just going to talk about how you multiply them, add them, or have negative vectors, right? Uh, so let's quickly do that. So if I have two times my vector t, so this is vector t, this is vector e, if I have two times it, you just double it, so double that and double that, gives you 6, 4 is dead, which should make sense, you know, this vector is saying go 3 right and 2 up, if you do that twice, have two t's, then you'll be not getting 3 right, you'll be getting 6 right, and then 4 up, just like it says. Um, another thing you might notice, by the way, is that this thing is written bold, and you've got this squiggly line underneath the T there. What I'm trying to demonstrate here is that basically when you have something in print, like in your exam, you'll see the bold lettering, right? But when you write it with your own hand, you're supposed to not make it bold because that's not very really practical, is it? You know, imagine trying to make something bold with your hand. It doesn't really work so easily. You're supposed to put this thing called a tilde, a squiggly line underneath the letter to show it's a vector. Anyway, Let's move on to the next thing where we're going to add vectors. So we're adding this vector and that vector, t and e, t and e, add it together. Pretty easy, just add the numbers. So 3 plus minus 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, job done. Why does it work like that? That basically is saying do this vector and then do this vector. Do this movement, then do this movement. So move 3 right, then 1 left, which basically means overall you're just moving 2 right. Same with this, moving two up and then five up means you're moving seven upwards altogether. And then finally C, that's just showing you uh, another easy thing just like the rest of it. How to do a negative vector, which basically means do the opposite of the vector itself. So, you know, before it was minus one, five, now we're doing the opposite, which is one minus five, like you can see there. If it said minus 2e, for example, so it's got a number and a minus sign, it means you double it, then you do the opposite, like we've done there. Well, we did the opposite bit there, we, we doubled it over there, or we treble it, I don't know, whatever. I want to finish off by saying that, although this is an introduction to the vectors topic, normally you don't get to see the numbers, you just get to see all the letters. You'll see what I mean in the coming examples for vectors if you go to my website.